Glory to God in the highest. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I'm Bishop Arnold right here at Grace United. Got another powerful word looking at Psalms 100. Psalms 100. One of my favorite Psalms of the Bible, Psalms 100. And I just can't read one or two verses. It's only five verses. I've got to read all of it. Somebody say, read it all. Yeah, here, here's what it says. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generation. Wow. I tell you what, when I read these five verses here in Psalms 100, all I can think about is having the right attitude. Having the right attitude. That's what jumps out. There's so many things, but on today, I just want to talk about having a good attitude. Yeah, yeah. The psalmist here is telling us, uh, you know, when you when, when you start shouting joyfully to the Lord, serving him with gladness, coming before his presence with singing, that lets me know that it's talking about attitude, having the right attitude. And there's an old saying that, that, that people have said for years, your, your altitude will be determined by your attitude. If you have a low or bad attitude, it's going to affect how high you can go. I think all of us are acquainted with people that sometimes can have not the best attitude. Yeah, they, they may be a very beautiful person, a handsome person, but something about their attitude takes away from their appearance because of their attitude. I believe, and get this right right here. Most companies are looking for people that will have a good attitude to represent their brand, their company, their business. Why? Because they want a person with a good attitude because it speaks to their company. Well, guess what? God is the same way. God is looking for some brothers, some brothers and sisters, some, some sons and daughters. He's looking for some vessels to represent his kingdom that will have a good attitude. Yeah that will be good representatives, that will walk in love, that will walk in gentleness, that will walk in long suffering, that will walk in wisdom, that will walk in temperance. Yeah, that's what God is looking for. That's what you're looking for. That's what God is looking for. So as we go through this day, let us have the right attitude. Look at what it says. Make a joyful shout to the Lord. Let's have the right attitude and let's give God glory. All the land, serve the Lord with gladness. Have the right attitude in your service. Come before his presence with singing. Don't just drag in here any kind of way when we come to worship God. It's about having the right and the proper attitude. So as we go through this day, ask the Lord before you leave the house, check my attitude. Give me a blessed and a gracious attitude as we go through this day. Amen. Let's pray. God, we thank you, Lord, for your word. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. I pray, God, today for all of us, God, as believers, as sons and daughters of the Most High, that you would bless us to have the right attitude, even when we're dealing with people that may not have the best attitude. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God keep you. That's my prayer.